A fairy tale and a film about eating are available this week. And here to review The King's Daughter and Delicious, you can determine which film is which, are uh, film critics Chuck Kaplinski and Pam Powell. Punctuation's right. important. Yes, it is, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it sure is. Uh, I'm going to assume Delicious is the one about the food. Yeah, look at Good you. Good job. Yeah. Man, yeah. man, putting two Sometimes together Sometimes you guys trick me, and you think the one is, but it's not. So no. uh, which one are we starting with? Let's go with The King's Daughter. Let's go with The King's Daughter. What an odd, odd film this is. This film was completed in 2014 and is now finally seeing the light of day. It went through a couple of different ownership changes with studios and everything. And you, you, you hear that, you think, well, this must really be a stinker. It's not the greatest film in the world by any stretch, but it certainly isn't awful either. You have uh, Pierce Brosnan, and he stars as King Louis the, uh, which was it, 16th? Yeah. Yeah, the Sun King. Uh, he was in charge <laughs> of France for the longest of any king, apparently. I did some really, you know, footnotes, uh, cliff notes history here real quick. Uh, and uh, apparently he had quite an ego. Uh, he really wanted to make sure that France remained the world power that he made it, to the point where he was seeking out ways to become immortal. He didn't think France could survive without him. Well, this, of course, then goes into this fictional fairy tale in which he finds out he actually has a daughter. Ah, Caius Scalderaro, who you will know when you see her, if you see her here in a second. Uh, she doesn't realize that the king is her dad until he, she is brought from the abbey and is then put into court. Well, he has a doctor who finds out that if you catch a mermaid and you kill a mermaid during a solar eclipse, you can take the mermaid's life force and put it into somebody else and you're eternal. Well, fortunately, they find a mermaid, they capture the mermaid, and they're about to do this, and complications ensue. Uh, what's interesting about this film is that they actually were able to, I don't know how they got permission, but they shot it actually at the Palace of Versailles. It is a gorgeous film. I mean, you're just looking at this thing, and more than anything, it comes off as a travel log uh, to go and visit this place and go and visit France. It really is stunning at times. The story, though, I don't know who this movie is for. It's, uh, you know, it's still a little bit too childish for teens. It's a bit too violent for kids. Had Disney made this into an animated film, I'm sure they could have tweaked it just enough to make at the biggest hit of the year, but this thing just flounders about and just, it's just kind of there. <laughs> I, I'm still stuck on the, it was supposed to come out in 2014 part. Yeah, yeah, again, it's, uh, there was a lot of that, and that's the problem. That story is probably more interesting right. than the film itself. Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe someone will do a documentary oh, about it, that. Exactly. I can imagine someone, uh, some actor or actress says it's their first movie, and in 2014 they're telling their whole family, right. I'm in a movie! With right. the former right. James Bond. It's 2022, yeah. and they're going, yeah, sure you are. Right. Yeah. All I right. would like to see Disney take that over, and it would be the, the murder of the little mermaid. Something I don't like know, that. Yeah. something yeah. kind of crazy that and sick. Disney-ish. <laughs> All right, Pam, let's talk about delicious. Let's go to delicious, and we're actually back with King Louis again, believe it this or guy. not. We've got the 18th century and the 1700s. Tim, can you imagine no restaurants? A point I, in time. I would go very hungry <laughs> would be very without restaurants. <laughs> well, believe it or not, there was a time when there were no restaurants. Oh. And, and chefs were only meant to give food and create elaborate meals for the rich and the wealthy, a.k.a. the kings, queens, dukes, and duchesses of the area in France. Well, this is right before the Revolution, and we have a very creative French uh, chef named Pierre, played by Gregory Gadbois, and he gets fired because he tends to be a little too creative, and they don't want to go outside the box, and he serves these amazing little pastries called Delicious. That's the name of them. I'm still looking for the recipe. I will find it one day and share it with everyone because it is, it looks absolutely spectacular. He gets fired. He goes out to the countryside. He's depressed. And then this woman comes along and she's, her name is Louise and she's played by Isabel Carré. Did I pronounce that right? Good job. Thank you very much. And she finds a way to inspire Chef Pierre to come back and create food for the everyday people. And this is what morphs into the first restaurant. Now, there's a lot of other side stories. There's some really disturbing things that happen to poor Louise and why she is where she is. And then it becomes a love story as well. This is a gorgeous film. Again, shot beautifully in the countryside of France. And we, we're privy to one of the, the um, houses there as well. It is gorgeous. The food looks spectacular. I'm smelling all the food in the background <laughs> right now. And I can just imagine that that's probably how the set sound, smelled all the time. This is a beautiful film. It is in French. And it is a 
is well worth your time, and it'll inspire you maybe to get into the kitchen. So there is reading cooking. involved, is what you're telling me. Yeah, Tim, you can do it. Sometimes. You can. I, I mean, I can. You can. I know you can. All right. The well, prompter. I know. I, and I, the food <laughs> does sound intriguing. The problem with the movie is you can't try it or smell it. So, all right, guys, thank you very much. You bet. I appreciate it. And uh, if you would like to see any of those, sorry the previews weren't working, uh, you can uh, check them out this week, and you can check out all the witty banter with Chuck and Pam on their YouTube channel. If you'd like more reviews and segments, you can go to their website. To, uh, it's uh, all at CILiving.tv. We'll connect you with all of those details there.